Hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Um, I, I've hit the uh, record button a few times. You're probably going to notice something a little bit off with my sound because I'm trying something new. Um, I, I have a feature on my graphics card that kind of does like some AI sound um, balancing. And sometimes when I get excited, the audio cuts out. So I'm turning that off to see what happens. So you might hear the furnace in the background, and that's going to be pretty damn annoying until I am able to iron that out. Um, that's just going to be a thing. Uh, because I do plan on getting a little bit hard on this, and I don't want to really... I don't want to say anything too inappropriate, but I know I'm going to be heated enough to where I want to. Um, but I don't want to cause any problems, you know, I don't want to cause, I, I don't want to make any jokes, but yeah, I'm going to make jokes. So I made a community post earlier, uh, and I said I was going to make a video about this and the community post was basically about how it's kind of crazy that, uh, people will give tens of thousands of dollars to, uh, these frauditors that are committing crimes or getting put in jail or such and such and people like us and I put myself as an example because I said well me you know I work for a living I work full-time for a living I am in a hard spot financially and I've had some people that's reached out to me and they have given me donations and I really thank you for that by the way I really do but this isn't going to be me like asking for it because I, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that um, because, you know, most of you guys know, um, probably since you've been following me, but I haven't got on here and forcefully push my uh, financial woes down your throats. And I'm not going to do that today. I might talk about it from time to time. Uh, just this, this last month has been crazy. Uh, but I think hopefully by the end of the, the month, I'll be fine. Uh, so we're not going to talk about that, right? Here, okay. So anyways, I was talking about that and how... You know, we have to work for a living. We have to pay our taxes. We have to contribute. Uh, we follow the law. We don't cause problems. Um, you know, we try to be good people. And I think you all are good people. Even some of the people that follow the frauditors because they think maybe they're fighting for their rights. I understand that. I understand that. Um, I, think, I think you're being misguided. And, you know... This is coming from somebody that's um, as cringe as hell. This is coming from a neckbeard on the internet that played video games and Pokemon for a long time. It's just really disgusting because, you know, basically these people, they can commit crimes, they can harass people. And when I say harass people, yeah, they go after cops. They'll go after black cops and saying you shouldn't be a cop because you're skin collar and they are the white saviors. Or they'll see a female cop and they'll call them pigtails and weak and pathetic. Uh, or they'll go up to a librarian and freak out on them because, I don't know, freedoms. I don't know what rights you're fighting for at the library or the post office or the social security office. Um, I'm guessing probably because they don't have Mein Kampf in stock or the anarchist cookbook in stock for you to rent. I, I, maybe that's it. Maybe those are the rights you're missing. Maybe you're missing out on being a Nazi. It seems, seems, seems like it. Seems like it because there's nothing I can really think going to a library and recording to get some kind of reaction from a librarian what what are they going to do are they going to tell you to get out and uh never rent here again this is you're a first amendment auditor what what the fuck does that have to do with anything what does uh <laughs> auditing a local business have to do with anything uh, what what tell me what does the social security office and the post office have to do with your freedoms huh tell me tell me because you don't have the answer and if you tell me my freedoms, you're fucking wrong, okay? You're, the, the, the post office clerk or the librarian or the social security clerk or, you know, somebody else that works in the public or like in the government that probably is just trying to get a paycheck so they can feed their kids because life's already hard enough without some dickhole coming in with a 
cameras saying how they have first first amendment rights to do whatever the fuck they want to them no no it doesn't work like that you see a lot of the frauditors get up in these people's faces saying terrible things what's it, the afro frauditor the that stupid fucking idiot that i would love to just punch him right in these fucking teeth like a million times and just be like hey you know disrespect this this Disrespect this. This is taking your rights away. And when I mean rights, it's taking your teeth away, your right to chew. Um, and I hate to say that because you know, I'm not violent, but I feel like I should be sometimes. Um, but these people are getting paid to do these crimes. Not only that, you're paying for the behavior of things like, you know, a lot of them, their MOs is like, hey, domestic violence is a victimless crime. DUI? victimless crime. So basically what they're saying is, hey, give me $20,000 so I can kick my life down a thing of stairs, punch my kids in the face, get in a car that I don't have a license or insurance on, let me stab my eyes with a bunch of fentanyl and drink a 40 pack of Keystone Light and just ram my car into a bus full of preschool children, which man, I hope they have bone cancer. Uh, they're paying for that. And they're banned for, hey, <laughs> black guy, um, I'm white, you slave, blah, woman, you nothing, me smack. And you, I'm, when I'm saying it like that, it's, it sounds like I'm saying it like a caveman, but it kind of feels like you're talking to cavemen at this point. Like these people don't have a real education. Their IQs are really low and they're like, I know better than the cops, so I'm going to educate the cop and the librarian at the same time because I have all the smarts and that's why I have a criminal record and don't have a job and do not contribute to society. But I'm going to go ahead and fill my cult like followers in and say, hey, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this for you. So you're paying for that. You're, you're giving money for that type of behavior. And I know I might be grasping straws here, but I really, am I? How many of these frauditors have said things, especially delete laws, domestic violence, victimless crime, DUI, victimless crime? It's not a victimless crime. It's not. Tell the person that lost, I don't know, their whole family to a drunk driver who decided to you know, get on the road and they're lit completely up, rather it be fentanyl or meth or beer or alcohol, whatever. And they kill their entire family. And one is left to deal with the aftermath of that. And a lot of people that go through that, they also commit suicide. So there's a lot of victims there. There's a whole lot of victims there. Tell me about, you know, how it's a victimless crime when somebody can beat their wife, catch them on fire, and kill them, which I know this has happened in my area. And I'm not going to give names. How is that not a victimless crime? That's domestic violence. That's exactly what that is. I watched my dad beat the shit out of my mom when I was a kid. My dad's an alcoholic. My dad will never know. I watched, I watched my uncle steal lie, cheat his way to that next box or box of beer. I watched it. I've seen it all my, my life. I've seen it. Um, and I get triggered by that. Whenever somebody tells me that domestic violence is a victimless crime, tell me, tell me, why is it a victimless crime? The child has to go through having PTSD of watching this stuff. It damages. It doesn't just damage the partnership, it damages the whole family, everything. It also damages the friends, everything. And these people want, you know, they don't want the cops to intervene with this because the cops are worse than the people beating their wives. And I hate to say that because it's, it's disgusting. Like, it, like me thinking about that. Me saying that, and I've been thinking about how I was going to approach this video the whole time um, I was uh, on the way home, and I was thinking about earlier today whenever I'd seen Fraud Editor Troll's video. Um, which, by the way, uh, go check out Fraud Editor Troll, and go check out uh, Exposing Auditors, uh, Fraud Editors. Um, they're really awesome, and uh, Exposing Fraud Editors uh, 
uh, has told me I should continue talking about fraud editors. And, you know, I do notice whenever I talk about fraud editing, um, my views go up a whole lot. And by the way, thank you guys for all the new subscribers, by the way. Um, the channel started growing again. And I know it has to do with me talking about Chile and stuff. Um, but it does seem like when I talk about the fraud editing stuff, uh, people seem to like that. I don't think I'm very good at it. Um, I am not the best to get all my ideas out in words without sounding like uh, a complete douchebag. And I try not to. And hopefully the things I said didn't trigger you. But if it did, you might most likely be one of the victims of these so-called victimless crimes. It's disgusting. And we're giving these people thousands and thousands of dollars to do this. And it's disgusting. And the funny thing is, is like a few weeks ago, whenever I made the post about how my job screwed me out of like almost $1,100. And by the way, I actually had some people that did offer donations. I actually had a donation from somebody and uh, I don't want to give out names and stuff because I don't, I don't want anybody to go after them. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much. Um, and I have some people that's reached out or they've got on my, uh, about page and went through all my other stuff, like the, the, uh, what, what is it? Cash app and all that stuff. And they've had sent me money and thank you so much. I, I'm not saying that donations are bad, but I am saying e-bagging is bad and also e-bagging for crimes to pay for your crimes, uh, or page for your future crimes or pay for, um, you being in jail. A lot of these auditors that get put in jail and they're still getting money. Still getting money. I'm just thinking, I'm looking, I'm looking really deep here. And I'm looking at somebody that's had a shit on life. And what I mean, uh, you know, they probably had a lot of problems in their lives and uh, they've had a lot of run-ins with the law. And I'm not going to tell you that our justice system is perfect because it's not. There's corruption in everything. It's not just the justice system. It's not. It's not. Unlike what these guys will tell you, that all cops are bad, um, I want to tell you they're not because I know good cops. And you can't get on here and tell me that all cops are bad because they're not. Uh, stereotyping is quite dangerous. I know this for a fact because I stereotype chili, then I get doxxed. Fuck me, right? I just don't want to see these people that I'm sure they have jobs, and I'm sure, I'm sure they have children. Some of them not. Some people just, you know, they want to see the world burn. Some people think these people are trying to save them. From what? They're selling you a product. What would Chili be? What would Chili or any of these frauders be without the products they sell? Rather be their t-shirts or their fucking trifolds or the little card that you can print out on your computer. I can print it out for free uh, and type in some random bullshit that has nothing to do with actual reality and sell it to you for five bucks. What would these people be without that stuff? You hear a lot of them want to monetize, monetize. Just like, please give me the money. Give me the money. And they don't care. They're okay with it. They're like, they have no shame. They have no shame. And I am prideful to ask for money. Like, I have a lot of pride to ask for money. I've had help in the past. I've been in dark spots in my life that's, you know, I've had to have help in. And um, it's not fun. It's not. And I'm sure you have too. How many of you guys had to go to... I don't know, the gas station, you want something to drink, you have to go through your car, look for all the, the dimes and pennies and quarters you have and pay for it and change. It's terrible. It's a terrible feeling. How does it feel to not be able to afford, well, there's no such thing as the dollar menu anymore, but back in the day, the dollar menu, when that still exists, you couldn't even afford a fucking hamburger, like for a dollar. It's terrible. And you cringe the fact that you did not want to get on an e-bag for money to pay for it, even though that's an easy thing to do. That's a really easy thing for us to do. As content creators, it is really easy to do. 
It's easy for somebody like us to get up here and say, hey, please give me money now. I'm going to use that money for this channel. And there's nothing wrong with having Patreons and uh, you know channel members and stuff like that. When the money's going to the channel or help the channel, um, and I've probably said too much, but it just breaks my heart knowing that people pay for this stuff and they're paying for people that think that things like domestic violence and drinking and driving or driving under the influence is acceptable. They think it's totally acceptable to be a racist or harass a librarian for doing their job or harass some person uh, who's delivering your mail when they have nothing to do with anything they're trying to fight with. And a lot of it, and they will say, no, we're fighting for your freedoms. But tell me, what freedoms? Got a cat in the roof. Yeah, she's up there. She's, she's working. It's probably Bowie. Um, nobody's fighting for your freedoms. I'm sorry. And the money that you're getting from, like, giving to Delete Laws or DMA and all these guys, it's not going for anything good. It's just going to better them. So they can go out and continue doing the same bullshit and you have to pay for their crimes. It's an easy paycheck. It is. It's an easy paycheck. You don't know why fraud editing is popular in some parts of the YouTube? It's because it's funny to watch these idiots go down. And they like to see it. They they ag it on. A lot of people just ag it on. They were like, huh, I dare you to tell that cop to eat a bag of dicks like right into his face. And cross the line and point a uh, laser pointer at that dude's helicopter. You should do that. Totally. I'll give you 50 bucks. Again, that's me saying, like, that's some people that just want to watch the world burn. It's pretty sad. Pretty sad, to be honest with you. Um, I, I do want I do want you guys to take a look at this, though. Um, Friday the Troll, awesome guys. Um, he made a video all about this. Uh, you can go through, like, right here. He's got Christopher Cordova asking for $20,000. We got uh, Dude in Need of a Subway Sandwich. Um, that guy, you have Sean Paul Reyes asking for $10,000. Delete Laws asking for $35,000. And he's got $23,000-some dollars that's been paid for him. And he does not have a bond. He does not have bail or anything like that. Is it bond or bail? I don't know. I'm, I'm not a cop. And he got uh, this jack off. What's his name? Uh, Chris Tucko. That guy. Jersey Watcher. He likes jerseys or something. Then this guy. Fight frauds. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I just don't get it. I don't understand. Like, if it's that easy to make money, if it's that easy to collect a paycheck on YouTube, and YouTube gives these people money, too, to do these things, um, eventually there's going to be a crackdown on this stuff, and but then they're going to be like, oh, my freedoms, my freedoms, and blah, blah, blah. And the, the funny thing is, too, is like whenever they say a few um, are against this, you're a lib or something like that, it's like, motherfucker, you don't even know me. Like, you don't. You don't even know me. Like, a lot of people know that's not the case. Um, I'm for people living a normal life, not getting harassed, trying to take care of the family. And, and, and the ones that are corrupt, those guys can go eat a bag of dicks, okay? I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that right now. Like, if for the corrupt politicians, the corrupt uh, <laughs> police officers and all that stuff, those guys can eat a bag of, bag of dicks, but there's good ones out there. Um, just the media and these jack-offs make it seem like it's not a thing. And the more this poison is forced down the veins of these people, the more acceptance of their behavior becomes okay. Um, so we, I mean, if they're going to get paid for it, why not keep on pushing, uh, the envelope on and on and on. I'm sorry for wasting your time for about 20 minutes and hopefully, hopefully you guys got something out of it. Um, don't give these guys money. Um, if you're going to give money to somebody, 
go to a soup kitchen um, if you're at church, as long as it's not like Kenneth Copeland or something like that. If you're at your local church and your church is trying to uh, grow a little bit, give them a little bit of money. Uh, give a give a charity money or something like that. Uh, join a member, join a Patreon for somebody that's just being a good person. Um, take yourself out, take your family out. Um, don't, don't give these people money. And I know you people that are watching this and it's probably seen the, seen the, uh, <laughs> thumbnail and you're like, this piece of shit. I, I, I think you're probably a good person. I think you have compassion and I think you probably believe in what you think these guys are trying to feed you. I hope not. I hope you open up your eyes a little bit and realize that these guys are going to lead you astray. This is no different than Hitler in Nazi Germany. I might be <laughs> really pulling start <laughs> straws there, but uh, yeah, like you follow these guys, you're going down the wrong path. Um, just like in the Bible and stuff like that, like you're going to have fools and frauds that are going to take you away from the truth and i'm trying not to get religious here i promise but this is that same kind of case you're going to have these people trying to fool you into believing something that's has nothing to do with what they're saying um until then please take care of yourself do not get behind a will if you're drinking or doing drugs i don't care what you do at home, just don't do that. Don't be racist. Don't be a sexist. And don't, for the love of God, participate in some type of domestic violence. Um, don't. If you see it, report it. If you see that shit, report it. And if you're currently fighting that, get help. Please. Please, God. Just... Stop what you're doing. If you're you're going through it, get help. Please I pray for you. I don't want you guys to have to go through that at all. And I hate talking about it myself because it, it sucks. It sucks and it really eats me up. Um, all right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.